Good evening, hunters, or slayers, again, whatever. Welcome back to the Gunners Guild. I like to follow up the repeaters meta video with some hunts to sort of back it up and discuss what I've said. So, in the background, it's just going to be me doing a bunch of runs for the mastery of killing monsters within three minutes. So you don't really have to pay attention to that. First off, like time attack rules in Monster Hunter, I don't use items in Dauntless. And if I can get these times without items, you can certainly do it too with items. Most of these are pretty easy and you can go well below 3 minutes. The only ones that I found difficult to do without items are Shroud, which I've only done with Hammer. Heroic Riftstalker, which I, again, can only do with Hammer. I don't really have an effective way to boop Riftstalker since landmines are a huge pain in the ass. I could use grenades, but that would kind of defeat the point. And Heroic Valamir, which I have done, but only once with repeaters. So getting into the repeaters, first off, I pretty much permanently swapped to full board chamber. It does way more damage than Savo if you get a good hit in, but it still has its problems. First, being that unlike Savo, you need to have enough time on your empowered shot to finish the shot for it to count as empowered. You can't do it at the last second and get away with it, unfortunately. This is, I think is a bug as they recently changed it so that it should work that way with other repeater parts, but I guess this one didn't really make the cut since it's new. The other problem I have with it is that it may count as empowered without doing the pushback effect at times. I actually like to use the pushback effect as it's sort of an evade, and it really does suck when it doesn't work when you need it to. It's not that huge of an issue, but it's still an issue for me. Next is that I've been playing around with mostly two sets. First is my bread and butter attack speed setup, which runs Evasive Fury. I really like Evasive Fury, but there are times when you just wail on a monster and it doesn't get a chance to fight back, which prevents you from proccing Evasive Fury, so it can be a dead skill at times. Also, too much attack speed can be bad with repeaters as well, as you have to reload way more often, and if you're just holding down the trigger like I do, you can easily overshoot and get caught up in auto reloads. So to combat this, I swapped the Vase of Fury for Cunning for more crit. Now with Lucky Mag, you can get up to 30% crit chance with an empty mag, which is pretty outstanding in my eye. Full board crits can get into the thousands, and seeing a few of those pop up keeps my ADD in check. This makes me attack slower for sure, especially since I like to use the Drask Lantern. Uh, I also run the Captain's Grip and Molten to keep my attack speed up. It's not too fast anymore, and the damage feels pretty good, so I like this set. Speaking of lanterns though, yes you can use the Ember Main Lantern for attack speed rather than Drask Lantern. Totally up to you. The only reason why I don't like the Ember Main Lantern is because it's just more difficult to land that fireball it drops. It takes forever to detonate. Drask with the Lightning Bolt is far more consistent. However, fighting ice monsters with the Blaze Barrel, the Scorching Prism, and the Ember Main Lantern stacks fire damage super fast. Plus, the Ember Main Lantern lasts for 8 seconds, while the Drask Lantern only lasts for 6, so there's a plus there too. There's really not that much difference in my kill times jumping between these sets, so it's becoming more of a personal preference thing. Now, for the rest of the repeater parts, I obviously match the element to the monster when I can. But on things like Neutral Behemoths, I tend to use Shock Barrel to add more shock damage for my Lantern, and then use the Eclipse Prism for damage. Glacial Prism and Ice Barrels for Fire Monsters to stack Ice status, and Fire Barrels and Scorching Prism on Ice Monsters to stack Fire damage. No big surprise there. To be honest, I think though Flame Barrel and Scorching Prism is probably the best setup for anything not weak to fire. The fire status is really strong and you can apply it super fast, especially if you're running Ember Main Lantern. I did test the damage of elemental weapons that match the proper element strength to the monster and then just running like any other random one. Like for Rift Stalker, I ran Radiant Barrels and normal hits I was hitting for about 170 to 220 with the Eclipse Prism on that was sacking up my damage. Whereas with the Fire Barrels, I was only hitting for about 140 to 190 again as the Eclipse Prism was stacking. So it's actually a pretty significant jump when you consider that's a shot by shot basis. However, that's still up to you. I don't think it'll make or break a hunt either way. But I'm certainly going to be matching elements as much as I can. Now if we're actually playing repeaters, it's not all that difficult as you can imagine and see. The hardest part is managing your reloads since you can't cancel out of it. I know a lot of people stay way too far back while playing, but it's honestly easier to be up in their face. It gives you time to roll through most swings and then reload as they're finishing up their animations or recovering. Being too far means you have to move forward to get the reload, and you pretty much have to stay empowered all the time to make this work, so it's better just to be up in their face to begin with. It's not quite as brain dead as Hammer, but it's pretty close. I really think repeaters are nice, except those landmines. So that's about it on top of the other video I did. There's not much to repeaters, so Thanks for listening. Feel free to watch the rest of the hunts. Otherwise, thank you again and good luck out there hunters in whatever you may be hunting.